Rayford Steele worried about Mac McCullum's silence in the cockpit of Global Community One during the short flight from New Babylon to Tel Aviv. Do we need to talk later? Rayford said quietly. Mac put a finger to his lips and nodded. Rayford finished communicating with New Babylon ground and air traffic control, then reached beneath his seat for the hidden reverse intercom button. It would allow him to listen in on conversations in the Condor 216's cabin between global community potentate Nikolai Carpathia, Supreme Commander Leon Fortunato, and Pontifex Maximus Peter Matthews, head of Enigma Babylon One World Faith. But just before Rayford depressed the button, he felt Mac's hand on his arm. Mac shook his head. Rayford shuddered. They know? he mouthed. Mac whispered, Don't risk it until we talk. Rayford received the treatment he had come to expect on initial descent into Tel Aviv. The tower at David Ben-Gurion cleared other planes from the area, even those that had begun landing sequences. Rayford heard anger in the voices of other pilots as they were directed into holding patterns miles from the Condor. Per protocol, no other aircraft were to be in proximity to the Condor, despite the extraordinary air traffic expected in Israel for the meeting of the witnesses. Take the landing, Mac, Rayford said. Mac gave a puzzled glance, but complied. Rayford was impressed at how the Holy Land had been spared damage from the Wrath of the Lamb earthquake. Other calamities had befallen the land and the people, but to Rayford, Israel was the one place that looked normal from the air since the earthquake and the subsequent judgments.